But first developing today, Buffalo police are still looking for the person who opened fire on a group of teenagers over the weekend. This is the area on Alexander Place near Jefferson and East Ferry, where police say it happened. That's where a total of six teenagers were shot, including a 14 year old girl who died. Thanks for joining us today. For Most Buffalo, I'm Lauren Hall, and this shooting has left many in the community in shock and in grief. Mayor Byron Brown is demanding the shooter to come forward. Most Buffalo's Andy Payton is live from Buffalo Police Headquarters with the latest on this investigation. Andy? Lauren, that's right. As you just mentioned there, the shooter still remains at large at this hour as investigators continue to work through the tips they received overnight. We've also just learned within the past few hours here the name of that 14 year old girl that was killed, Jasmine Fomby. We're told she was a charter school student here in Buffalo. We're also told that a 15 year old boy remains in critical condition at ECMC. Now, Lauren, this all happened on Saturday night on Alexander Place on the east side. We're told it started around 10 20 when police received a call about a noise complaint taking place at this apartment complex here. Uh, that quickly escalated to a fight call outside a party that was taking place there, and police were able to break up that fight pretty quickly, but then were called back to the scene about an hour later, around 11.10, of reports of shots fired. That's when they found those six teenagers, all between the age of 14 and 16 years old, shot. Now, today we spoke with a pastor with the Peacemaker, an organization that's inside the school with these students every day and even they're puzzled on why something like this would happen. Take a listen. Whatever the angst and the, and the problems that's creating the tension, we want to begin to get at that, right, before it gets to the level that somebody's got to retaliate or shoot. We want to get to find out what are the reasons that people feel the need that they have to go into a drive-by and they have to hit innocent people and they have to want to shoot or kill or take a life in the first place. Now, what we know so far is that police believe that that fight outside the party is what led to the shooting. They also said that they believe there were at least three handguns present at that party and that the party had about 100 people in attendance. Police are still asking for the community's assistance in this, asking for any video of that scene on Saturday night, whether that's video surveillance or even just a quick Snapchat shot of what was happening that night. Uh, but, you know, they're still looking through the tips. They said they received a couple in the last 24 hours. But just to add an incentive now, Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $7,500 for any information leading to an arrest of the shooter in all of this. We'll, of course, continue to stay on this and provide another update later today. But for now, live and on your side here outside police headquarters in downtown Buffalo, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.